Hi, Ray Baker and Charlie Mertz back with the Wounded Artist Project. We're here at the corner. What corners are we at right now here, Charlie? Uh, Woodward Avenue and Temple, and that's where the Masonic Temple is. We're about three blocks north of the Fisher Freeway. And we're going into a second video describing a project that Charlie's architectural firm is doing for the city and in conjunction with the Vietnam Veterans Chapter 9 of Detroit. It's going to be the uh, Arsenal of Democracy Park. Uh, we had also heard of it earlier, I had heard of it earlier as the Detroit uh, Memorial, Veterans Memorial and Park. And Charlie, uh, why don't you describe here uh, where you're actually, what you're actually going to be doing. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll actually splice in some photographs of the property and uh, of, of what Charlie's work is going to be here. So, thank you. Um, right now the park's pretty raw. We planted a few trees here. We're about ready to do a second phase of the park, which will have a small uh, memorial and uh, piazza and flagpoles. But eventually the park will be a hard, pretty much a hard surface with a green wall of climbing plants uh, off to this side, which is west. Um, around the periphery, to define the city edge of the park, there will be trees interspersed with pylons. The pylons will be obelisks with uh, bronze, verbiage and images, bas-relief images, of all of the wars that our country has ever been in, basically uh, as an educational tool. Um, then up at the northern end of the site, you can see there's a rise there. We'll actually make a curved stage up there, just a, an elevated part of the plaza, with steps going up, uh, because we have, Chapter 9 has bands playing here, uh, has politicians come on Veterans Day and the 4th of July. There are always activities going on on holidays. So there will be an automatic stage there. And the backdrop to that stage will be Chapter 9, but also a big wall that we're thinking of putting the Gettysburg Address on because Lincoln said it so eloquently, we here at Gettysburg cannot honor our fallen dead any more than those who have already given the ultimate sacrifice. And that's what this park is about. So it'll talk about the branches of service, it'll talk about uh, every conflict we've ever been in, it'll have quotes, uh, it will go on and on and on about educating people that come here. And this sort of thing works. I've seen it down at Capitol Park. People know the history of the city of Detroit by looking at historical markers. And, and our young people need to know about service in this country. Furthermore, on the stage there will be a small, a small square cube which will bubble out water. It will run down a trough right to the middle of the park where it will spill water and go into an empty fountain. By empty I mean it will have no standing water. It will have stones so that it splashes, makes a passive sound, but in fact will not cause any hazard to anybody. So that's the general gist. Our, our goal is to have a piazza where people can come and reflect on their service, their parents' service, what it means to serve, and hopefully spin off uh, so that kids will know about the Civil War, um, the uh, uh, War of Independence, the First World War, Second World War, Korea, all of the activities right up to Desert Storm, Iraqi Freedom, and the Afghani War. Charlie, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Nice, noble piece of work you're doing here. Thank you. And hope that uh, people will appreciate this fine effort. Uh, again, Ray Bakerton and Charlie Mertz, thank you very much for being with us today.